That's a nice one. Good job. Oh. Uh-oh, it just got him. That's what he did. Stab me. I was concerned the day before Thanksgiving when I haven't heard from him. I asked him, are you sure they just didn't? They're an adventurous couple. Sure you just, they just didn't take off for a week or two. And he, without hesitation, said, no, they would not just disappear. This is Captain Tom Hawks and well-deserved. Tom and Jackie Hawks were in the process of selling the vessel to this other couple, Skylar and Jennifer DeLeon. We ran both of them to figure out because they were probably or potentially the last people to see the Hawks. When we ran Skylar, we automatically find out that he's got a record. He had done uh, uh, jail time for an armed burglary where he broke into a house with a weapon and he was on probation. His original name at birth was John Julius Jacobson. When I think of him when I was raising him, I still refer to him sometimes as little Johnny. He wanted to make everyone happy. He was just always right there trying to make you smile, trying, trying to make things better. Lisa left Skyler's father, you know, when he was just a little kid. Skylar grew up in a crazy house. How, how did you grow up? Tell me a little bit about the situation. Um, I pretty much primarily grew up with my dad. And what kind of guy was he? Not the best. Not the best dad. And in fact, he was involved with drugs and yes. was frequently in trouble with the law. Yes, sir. He was into manufacturing speed and much anything he can make money with. His father got him into acting, but it was never about Skylar. You know, he wanted Skylar to act so he could make money off of him. Ready and action! He never really made it big in the business. He had parts in commercials, and I think his biggest role was probably as an extra in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Go, go, Power Rangers! The TV series, which was pretty popular in the early 1990s. Great. Now the problem is Skyler could never remember his lines and his dad would yell at him on the set until the producers are basically like get that guy out of here he's really he's upsetting Skyler he's upsetting everyone else and Skyler hated acting you're not good enough for this you're not good enough for that why aren't you this why aren't you that there's an expectation or a level that you're always trying to rise up to but you can never meet no matter how hard you try Skyler is kind of a weak kid, you know, kind of a little bit effeminate maybe. Skyler's dad pretty much despised him for that and started knocking him around. So Skyler joined the United States Marine Corps. He probably never would have joined the Marines, but for he thought this would make him look like a man. And as much as he hated his dad, he was also always trying to impress his dad. He said he was Marine Corps Force Recon, which, for those who don't know, is one of the elite military forces in the United States military. He got a Marine Corps Force Recon tattoo. It, he would explain that he had, had attended all these classes and, and all this training, and he had, you know, 62 confirmed kills. When he got out of the Marines, he wanted to change his name to Skylar DeLeon. On the paperwork, it says, doesn't want to be associated by the same name as his father because his father is a bad person and a criminal. It was right before he met Jennifer that he changed his name. Jennifer Henderson grew up in a way that was the very opposite of how Skylar grew up. She had loving parents. They were very religious. They went to church. We actually met online. We just kind of started chatting and then you know, we went from there to all of a sudden we started talking on the phone. And uh, then one day we're like, you know what? You know, wanna, wanna meet. So they arrange a rendezvous at a local mall. They go to a movie, they spend the whole day together, and that was it. From that moment on, they were pretty much inseparable. We dated for about a year, and he proposed to me in Catalina. 
And we actually had two weddings, a quick one in Corona del Mar on the beach, just family, close friends, um, barefoot, shorts, and very casual, it was very fun. And then uh, the big formal wedding. Who knows why Jennifer ends up saying yes to Skylar. They're so different in so many ways. He grows up uh, this troubled childhood. She grows up with all these advantages. She has a little bit of a profession going for herself. He's got no career path that we can see. I am a hairstylist, and I've done that for five years. And he was actually working as an electrician. He had the job. He just hadn't started yet. According to Jennifer's mother, she thinks that they got pregnant on their wedding night because the timing of it was just so. So yeah, they had a little girl, Haley, and then they got pregnant again. They really don't have a lot of assets. Jennifer is the breadwinner. They were deep in debt. They owed nearly $90,000. They were so poor that they were living in the garage next to Jennifer's parents' home. They had no bathroom, they had no kitchen, they had to go to the main house for that. They already had a very young daughter and there was a second baby on the way. You put that all together and these two young people are clearly not qualified to own a 55 foot boat. We get a search warrant to look at the boat and they find a bunch of things that are of interest, but they find that it's number one, it's messy, so Tom Hawks has not left it that way and they find a, a receipt from a Target store. And that receipt shows a purchase of trash bags, Tums, and bleach. And Dave Byington goes, that's a kill kit if I ever heard one. If I was gonna kill somebody, you know, I'd have my clean kit and it would be bags to get rid of evidence, you know, bleach to wipe down the scene and maybe if I had a conscience, some Tums to settle my stomach after killing some poor people. Target security was able to pull up that specific um, purchase of these items. And they're expecting it to be Skylar. And they know what Skylar looks like because he's got a record and he's in the database, but it's not Skylar. And I was looking at a, an obese man, which was not Skylar de Leon. Now we have another little straw on the camel's back saying, okay, who is this guy? And why is this receipt on this boat? And who is this clown? Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.